Hi everyone and welcome to your um, first steps in electronic engineering. Hopefully if you're watching this video and the next load of videos that I'm going to be doing you'll want to learn a little bit about uh, electronics and you're at the complete start and you haven't got a clue where to start. Okay so this is your first steps. Now I'm going to be just doing um, basics, nothing complicated, uh, back of the envelope stuff most of the time and I'm going to be kicking out a hell of a lot of the maths. I'm not going to be dealing with any um, you know, complex equations, no deriving stuff or anything like that. If it's an equation, I'll just give it to you, throw it at you. Uh, if you want to learn about electronics, then there's no substitute for doing a good, proper course. But, saying that, here I am. I'm going to give you the starter and a little bit of a push to, yeah, yeah, to help you out on your... Uh, first steps or if you want to start learning a bit of electronics and you know building up building things or building things what you want to know or looking at a different way okay so if you are studying you can you know you might be useful to you to get a different approach so let's kick this off with what is electricity so electricity um, what is it? Where does it come from? You know, um, what do we do with it? What do we mean by electricity? Well, first things first, everything contains electricity, everything around you. So grab hold of anything that you want. You know, I've been doing a bit of plumbing, so I've got a pipe on my desk, post it, I've got my tablet, you know, whatever, screwdriver, tons of crap on my desk. Everything contains electricity, believe it or not. Why? Well, to explain that, we're gonna get small. So grab hold of anything on your desk, have a good stare at it. Okay, look at it. Screwdriver, yep, yeah, right, I'm looking very close to it. What are we looking at? We're looking at atoms, okay? Everything that makes up this screwdriver, or this set of post-it nuts, okay, is basically atoms, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, the basic elements, the basic building blocks that build up everything. That's where electricity comes from. So those of you that looked at me like I'm completely bonkers, saying that electricity is in inanimate object checks like this or like that. Okay. Yeah, call me mad, call me whatever, I don't care. But ultimately, you know, everything's made up of atoms and atoms is where we get electricity from. So yeah, so from that point of view, everything contains electricity. It's just a matter of finding out how to extract it. Now, electricity comes in two forms, voltage and current. We'll explain those in terms of atoms, because that's the easiest approach to go from. Now then, this is an atom up here. It looks like a nice big ball. Yeah, all atoms look like this. Why? Because it's in motion. And if we stop this, there we go, you can see the actual build-up of the atom, okay, the actual building blocks of the atom. Now, what we've got, for those who don't know, are in the centre, we've got our nucleus, that's made up of protons and neutrons. Outside, spinning around the atom extremely fast, okay, in what's called orbits, which is why it looks like a ball when it's in motion, because it happens very, very fast, okay. Yeah, it looks like a circle, yeah, but it isn't. It's the electrons, okay? That's what we call the, um, they're in orbits around the nucleus, okay? It's called the shell of the atom. But they're just little, 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 tiny, titchy, witchy, witchy, witchy little things, okay? Called electrons. The electron is the key to it all. The electron is... Mm, you know, primarily where electricity comes from. Now then, the atom on its own, okay, a balanced atom, has the same amount of protons and the same, the same amount of electrons, okay. Protons are positively charged, electrons are negatively charged. If you've got the same amount, you've got balance, okay. You've got positive, you've got negative, uh, you've got balance. So just like a magnet, you've got a north pole and a south pole. They're attracted to each other. Positives and negatives are also attracted to each other. And just like you've got a magnet, uh, the north to north or south to south repel. 
the same thing as well for these charges, okay, on these atoms, okay, negative charges and positive charges, you know, you've got a positive and a positive, they like to repel away from each other, negatives and negatives, they like to repel away from each other. And it's that effect that we use to um, create electricity. So, the balance atom has, you know, equal amounts of protons and uh, electrons. An unbalanced one can swing one of two ways. Either more negatively charged or more positively charged. A more positively charged atom is called a uh, you know, positive ion. And the negative one's a negative ion, you could say, but we're gonna kick out the ion crap. So we've got a positive and we've got a negative. Positively charged ones have got less electrons than they have protons. So they've got you know extra protons compared to, to electrons, so it's positive. Likewise we're negative, it's got more electrons. And that bloody alarm is doing my sodding head in if you can hear that. Oh it shuts down so yeah, yeah there it goes. Right now. And uh, likewise with uh, neg negatively charged atoms, they've got more electrons than they have protons, so they've got extra electrons. And having more of one, more of one or the other, okay, we use that to control the electron. Because it's the electron where we get our electricity from, hence elect, electron, electricity, so on. Now then, like I said, electricity comes in two forms of voltage and current. We're going to deal with current first. Current is basically the movement of the electron, okay. It's how it moves, how it propagates between atoms, basically. So if you we've got a an atom that is positively charged, okay, it's got fewer electrons. That means that it's craving electrons. It wants electrons. It's got an attraction for electrons. Okay, it wants to grab them. And if we've got an atom that contains an abundance of electrons, it's negatively charged. Okay, what will happen is those electrons get attracted to the other atom, so you've got uh, your positive here, you've got your negative here, all your electrons which are here, which are unbalanced, okay, they're quite loosely bound in the orbit, so they want to, so it's easy for them to hmm, flick across to your opposite atom. That motion of electrons, that is basically an electric current. So that's one current, it's the movement of electrons from a negative to a positive. Next up, voltage. How can I explain this? Well, the driving force, okay, this attraction, the force behind it is what the voltage is, okay, it's the oomph that makes the electrons migrate. So if you've got very few electrons and a whole heap load of electrons, Okay, you've got a very strong attraction. If you've got very few, and very few, then you've got a very weak attraction. That's the voltage, it's the driving force, it's the amount of what you have in one place at one time. The more you have, the higher the voltage, the more oomph you've got. The more oomph you've got, the more electrons flow, the more electrons flow, the higher the current. So, there we have it, basically. That's voltage and current. It all boils down to electrons and the motion of electrons between different atoms. Right, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, not really going to carry on any more with you know that sort of thing. Um, just a brief introduction for you about what electricity is, where does it come from, and um, yeah, we'll start to. Like I said, no maths in it at all. I'm going to start using, um, looking at voltage and current in depth, series and parallel connections, and um, yeah, maybe a bit of Kirchhoff sort, but still no equations or mathsy stuff. Just a little bit of addition and subtraction. Okay, in the next one. So yeah, piece of piss really. And uh, yeah, this is how we're going to do it all the way through. It's very very basic stuff, little steps, and um, yeah build it up over time. Nothing to really blow your head or your mind so you can actually remember it. So, see you next time.